In this video we'll discuss how the control bar disclosures can be used to create modal pop-up forms. So you can see we have a simple uh, UX component here with the control bar across the top. And when I t tap on this control bar button over here, you can see a little uh, modal form uh, pops up and you can tell that it's modal because if I click uh, off the, off the um, um, the pop-up form here, even the button here, what will not uh, dismiss the, this uh, this pop-up form. And now I can basically fill in fields into the form. You can see there's a watermark there when there's no text uh, in the field. And then if I go ahead here and press OK, I have a validation rule saying please fill in the form. So I'll go here and type in say John Smith and then tap the OK button and here's my um, event handler for the OK button uh, alerting back John Smith and also closing the dialog. Another interesting thing to notice about this is that the form is always going to be this width so if I were to go now and switch to a different um, device size let's go to this Nexus 10 horizontal and now tap on the button you can see that the form is still the same size as it as it was before so let's go now behind the scenes and look at how how this was uh, how this was set up so we'll go back to design mode now and you can see there's our um, UX component there's uh, very little in the component other than just a panel card and a uh, control bar so we'll go over to the control bar and we can see that basically we have an item called disclosure button we have a control bar that has just one line in it with the disclosure button in the before section and then we have a disclosure here which has been defined over here so when we open up the disclosure we will see that there's um, quite a bit of HTML shown over here but all of this HTML basically was uh, inserted by clicking this button here and saying insert sample data entry form so you can use this as a uh, starting point for modifying the HTML that is shown in this form. So if we go ahead and look at the actual HTML we can see that we have a div for the label for field 1 and the class that we use is this uh, class here. So this is going to resolve to the correct class name uh, regardless of what style you're using, whether you're using iOS 7 or Alpha or Android Lite or Android Dark, this um, uh, special placeholder will resolve correctly. Then for the actual input control itself, we've defined an HTML input. We specified an ID for the field using this placeholder control bar ID to give the uh, ID a unique value if there's more than one control bar uh, with an ID called field 1. We specified the placeholder, this is the watermark text, this is the class for the input control and this is the style for the input control. You can see we've chosen 100% and then we've just put on this boilerplate um, additional stuff uh, so that um, the control behaves nicely with padding etc. So then we've got our second input control over here, so we have a break, we have our second input control and then uh, we have our buttons, so you can see here we have um, uh, t two buttons but the important thing about these buttons is that they use this um, A5 action attribute here to invoke actions that are defined in the actions section of the uh, control bar builder. Then if we look at the very top of this uh, inserted sample text we'll see some comments that describe things that that need to be done as well so this is telling us here what we need to put into the action that we assign to the um, the OK button. So you can see the OK button is going to call an action called Disclosure OK and the Cancel button call, uh, calls um, Disclosure Cancel. So this is the code that would need to go into the OK button. You can see here that we're going to um, hide the disclosure and then we need to, in order to make this uh, this pop-up form modal we need to set these two properties on the dialog button auto hide false and auto hide disclosure to auto and then uh, finally in order to basically dynamically compute the size of the disclosure we need to use this JavaScript so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video so we're continuing now to look at how the modal form was set up using a disclosure in the control button and we can see also that the disclosure button itself needs to have the display type set to explicit and then the clipping rectangle for the uh, 
the disclosure needs to be set to use JavaScript and then this is the JavaScript that we want to use. So this particular JavaScript here is getting the size of the screen and then basically saying that we'd like the dialog to be 300 pixels wide. Therefore the, um, the padding on the left and on the right needs to be uh, the width of the screen minus 300 and then on the left and the right we put half of that. So you can see how we've got um, object left is uh, padding half and object right is padding half. Then we'd like the disclosure to display um, 100 pixels from the top uh, from the top edge over here and we'd like it to fill the width um, of the uh, disc of the clipping rectangle. So let's go now and look at the um, items we can see. Here's our disclosure button itself. We've specified that the name of the dis disclosure is My Disclosure. We've specified a um, an explicit type for the um, for the position of the uh, disclosure we've got animation turned on here but we could just as easily turn it off and then we've specified the method for specifying the clipping rectangle is JavaScript and then here's our, our JavaScript uh, code over there. Then we've also gone to actions and we've defined the OK action so here we read the value out of those two input fields if they both uh, if either one of them is blank we put up an alert Otherwise, we basically hide the disclosure with with no animation. This false yes is no animation, and then we just alert the values that the user um, had typed in. The uh, cancel button is just simply uh, closing the um, the disclosure with no with no additional action. So let's go now and run it one more time, so we can see here now. When we uh, tap on the button, there's our disclosure. Uh, it's modal, so we can't click anywhere off it to close it. We can only close it by typing a value uh, into the field and then when we click OK basically the modal closes. So what we've shown in this in this video is a very um, powerful technique for creating pop-up modal forms in a UX component using the control bar and using disclosures and the big benefit of this approach is that you're not having to put a lot of additional controls into the UX component. Uh, you can see here that the UX component itself is very light. There's just simply a control bar and there could be many different uh, types of pop-up forms all defined in this uh, single disclosure because there's no limit to the, uh, to the number of disclosures that you can define over here. So there's, you, you could basically create a whole array of these pop-up forms like um, confirm cancel forms and little forms that prompt for additional information etc. So uh, a very powerful feature that's going to allow you to create some very compelling user interfaces in your mobile applications. Thanks very much for watching.